you may encounter a wide variety of artistic experiences this fall on the campus of SUNY Plattsburgh, all immersed in the waters of Lake Champlain. It's the tides of Lake Champlain. It's the tides. A metaphor takes shape. It's a metaphor the health of the lake and other issues the water provokes have inspired an exhibit featuring music, poetry, videos, sculptures, and photographs. You may also see a related production of a play about sustenance and humanity. Titled The Water Station, this is a brand new staging of a play that premiered in Tokyo, Japan in 1981. Director Julia Devine says the themes of water in the piece, including the effects of climate change and the plight of shipwreck survivors, connect it to the Lake Champlain art exhibit in the nearby galleries. It's a wordless piece about migrants on a journey. You don't know where they're coming from or where they're going. Some travel alone, some travel in pairs, and then some travel as a group. And the water station becomes a place where they have some rest or they stop and they discover it uh, on their journeys. Sometimes people take things, some people stay, and most people leave. The Nina Winkle Sculpture Court provides the backdrop for the play without words. Messages are conveyed through movement, sound, and video projections. Devine says the story from more than 40 years ago remains relevant in 2024. I think the themes of migration are very prevalent today of people on a journey for different reasons and with the backdrop of some kind of disaster or climate change or something in their life has caused them to move and if we all you have to do is look at the news today to see you know migrants on a journey people who have who have to be moved from their homes because of climate even people on a spiritual journey um, this is still as prevalent today. We're all pilgrims on a journey in some ways. Performers include community members, SUNY students, including international students, SUNY faculty, and members of the Clinton County dance troupe, Caravan Six. The creator of video projections in the play, artist Robin Lasser, also produced projections for the art exhibit. She's one of the two artists whose work fills the upstairs galleries in the John Myers building. After she'd been invited to create pieces for the Lake Art Project, the Oakland, California artist visited Plattsburgh to research issues surrounding the lake, and more recently to give talks on campus about her work. When I learned that 300 ships lay buried under the lake and that there's complementary 300 birds, flying above, for me, that was the hook that got me interested in Lake Champlain. And it turns out that the ships down there have been there from the Industrial Revolution to the present. And it's that same time period that coincides with the human creation of the climate crisis we're discovering and we're part of today. Lasser and artist Marguerite Perret of Lawrence, Kansas, both create works treating social and environmental issues, making them a good match to produce new pieces for the Lake Champlain-themed project in the galleries. Viewers will see art treating climate change, invasive species, pollution, garbage, and shifting habitats of healthy plant life and organisms. I think art can provide an emotional bridge to these issues of science. And I think science and art, emotion and rational thinking is a beautiful balance. Other topics in the exhibit include methods of recycling water at wastewater treatment plants. The exhibit also includes messages of hope, inviting us to combat our fears with action. The Plattsburgh State Art Museum presents Climate's Shipwreck Ballad by Robin Lasser and Transmutation Traces by Marguerite Perret from now until December 6th in the John Myers Building. The art and music are inspired by faculty research occurring in the Lake Champlain Research Institute and the SUNY Plattsburgh Center for Earth and Environmental Sciences. 
to see the play The Water Station, you're encouraged to purchase tickets in advance online, as seating is limited. You may not buy tickets with cash at the door. The SUNY Plattsburgh Department of Theater, in collaboration with Plattsburgh State Art Museum, will present the play tonight through Sunday, October 6th, each evening at 7 o'clock. Audience members may see the art exhibit before and after the show. Head to mountainlake.org for information about play tickets and the free art exhibition. Spotlight is supported by the Glenn and Carol Pearsall Adirondack Foundation, dedicated to improving the quality of life for year-round residents of the Adirondack Park.